been waiting for you, Ponyo. There's a fish named Ponyo. Her father's very strict. So she runs away to the surface, and then a boy named Sosuke finds her. I want hands! I don't want these flippers anymore! She wants to be just like him. She wants to have feet. She wants to have hands. Ponyo loves Sosuke! And the two of them are instantly friends, but you come to realize that she's broken the magic spell by wanting to be a human. She's now a little girl, and she loves a little boy, and the whole world is out of balance. We just felt very strongly that there was an opportunity here to take the new Japanese film, Ponyo, and find a way that we could create an experience where people could be introduced to Miyazaki's work. I want to tell you that the English language version of Ponyo is spectacular. You would be very, very proud of it if you spoke English. How come your mom's not here? The water's so high, she must be stuck. The casting of the dub version was actually incredibly fun. Our daughter, Megan, who's 10 years old, said, well, you know, Miley Cyrus has a sister and she's really talented and her name is Noah. And she said, the Jonas Brothers have a brother named Frankie and Frankie and Noah are the same age. And we just looked at each other and said, oh my God, this is perfect. Look at that! It's burning. It's hot! It's hot! It's hot! It's kind of hard because you have to make your words go almost exactly with the words in the animation. Once you see it together, you think, that's amazing. Those are ancient fish. They lived during the Devonian age. There are three generations of actors in the cast playing the different parts. We have Cloris Leachman. I'd let a fish lick me if I could get me out of this wheelchair. <laughs> Matt Damon. Hey, my son is working the signal all by himself. Can you believe that? Tina Fey. I don't see any light out there. And Kate Blanchett. Pony. What a lovely name. And Liam Neeson, who we went to right at the beginning, and he too immediately responded because he was well aware of Miyazaki's works. It's quite a visual feast when the director's created. He has the ability to draw you in from like the first frame into this uh, magical world. In addition, we have Betty White. You don't have to swim. Lily Tomlin, fantastic actresses who were more than willing to come into this adventure. I was captivated from the word go. I can't remember seeing anything quite like this. I use the word genius about Miyazaki. There was such a legacy to what Miyazaki has contributed to the world of animation. Ponyo's very humorous, so is Sosuke, and there's a lot of adventure. I thought it was really awesome.